Foggy Bottom is home to the Kennedy Center, George Washington University, the infamous Watergate Complex, various protest art exhibits, and places like St. Mary's Center, a subsidized housing center for senior citizens. Homeless residents in the area used to find comfort in tiny tent town. However, the city disbanded the community in late 2017. Maisie Lewis has been the Columbia Plaza receptionist for 30 years. She doesn't think homeless people bother the neighborhood and expressed frustration that the homeless community tiny tent town got disbanded. Across the street from Columbia Plaza, homeless people line up for meals at Miriam's Kitchen. Miriam's Kitchen provides breakfast and dinner to homeless DC residents on weekdays. Maddie Silver, a homeless resident of DC who frequents Miriam's Kitchen, created the Silver Think Tank to help his fellow homeless citizens and express his First Amendment rights. Uh, I mean, nobody's going to hear me unless I express my ideas, and ideas are contagious. He drives around and picks up homeless people from different neighborhoods to bring them to Miriam's Kitchen for breakfast. Yeah, there was a need for it, so I'm just filling that gap. Kitty Corner to Columbia Plaza is St. Mary's Court, which provides subsidized housing to residents aged 62 and older. Linda Perius, known as the Treat Lady, is a resident at St. Mary's Center. She said she's noticed an increase in the homeless population in Foggy Bottom, but is quick to highlight the divide between St. Mary's residents and Miriam's kitchen guests. It's totally different where we have homes and, you know, we're cared for, they don't. They're, they're homeless. Foggy Bottom's diverse populations create a huge wealth gap in the neighborhood. Typical coverage of Foggy Bottom doesn't depict that gap. 